G'day, it's Shane Dowling here from kangarooacourtofaustralia.com. Now last week Angus Taylor, who's now the Federal Minister for Industry, Energy and Emissions Reduction, gave a $7.5 million grant to a company called Gemina uh, to uh, supply a machine that's meant to uh, blend hydrogen with gas to reduce gas house uh, emissions. Now the problem is that uh, the company is actually a foreign owned company. It's 60% owned by the Chinese government and 40% owned by the Singaporean government. So from a financial viewpoint, it does absolutely nothing for the country. Now from an environmental viewpoint, um, it's fairly limited benefit anyhow because apparently it does reduce the greenhouse gases uh, being emitted to a degree, but not anywhere near to the degree that it's meant to. Um, so it's really a financial fraud on Australia well, we get no benefit, it's actually investors overseas who, who get the benefit, uh, whether that be the Chinese government or the Singaporean government. And uh, it's really got no uh, environmental benefit for Australia to help us uh, meet the targets that we're meant to meet, uh, to do our part on, on a global basis to reduce greenhouse gases. So uh, the only person who benefited from it was uh, Angus Taylor, he gave him an opportunity to take some happy snaps and pretend he's actually doing something as a federal minister for uh, emissions reduction uh, when he's actually doing nothing at all. The only thing he seems to do is promote the fossil fuel industry and his mates in the gas industry specifically. Now we all know Angus Taylor, he's a guy who uh, conspired with the federal uh, deputy prime minister um, Barnaby Joyce to commit an $80 million fraud, well, $80 million plus fraud in a water buyback scheme, which uh, Barnaby Joyce uh, manipulated by getting rid of the tender process when he was a Minister for Water, Federal Minister for Water. Um, and that enabled uh, the department to approach a company that was uh, associated with Angus Taylor and do a dodgy buyback, which uh, the country never actually got any benefit out of. And a large chunk of that $80 million plus was diverted to a Cayman Island company that was set up by Angus Taylor. So it was a major league fraud. That's all he seems to be able to do is commit fraud, whether it's uh, financial fraud or environmental fraud, uh, pretending he's doing something when he's not. Now, I've just written an article on the subject uh, a couple of days ago, so make sure you visit my website, Kangaroo Court of Australia. It's got a lot more details and relevant links to further information. And while you're there, make sure you join up for the free email subscription. And every time I publish a new article, you get an email letting you know there's a new article here to be read. Other than that, uh, make sure you uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you for your time and have a good day.